We have a voicemail number. That number is two one nine two David P. I have talked about my disdain for kids menus. Here is someone who misunderstood my comment and isn't pleased with me. Take a listen to this. Hey, David, Robert Asher from St. Louis. First time caller. Yes. Want to talk to you a lot about various Trump related things in my arguments on Facebook with my friends. But you were doing a thing about Applebee's and you talked about kids menus just being uh, what the adults eat, but in smaller portions as if that were a bad thing. But isn't that what a kids menu is supposed to be? Yes. This. So you misunderstood. My point was I am vehemently against what has become the de facto American kids menu. You go to a steakhouse or you go to a burger bar or you go to a noodle shop or you go to even some Asian or Indian restaurants and the kids menu is the same thing. It's grilled cheese, noodles with butter, chicken fingers with fries, no matter where you go. I'm against that. What I mean by the kids menu is smaller portions of what the adults eat is kids should just be having smaller portions of what the adults eat. You know, these these stereotypes. Oh, kids don't like fish. Well, they don't like it because a lot of Americans don't give kids fish until they're seven. And by then they've not developed a taste for it all over the world. Thailand, Japan, Argentina, Spain. Kids are having shellfish and fish all the time. And that's what it is. Oh, kids don't like spicy. Well, in India and Pakistan and Thailand and China, kids are having modestly spicy stuff all the time. So my my point is, I like the idea that what the, you don't really need a discrete kids menu because it just be the kids eat smaller portions of what the adults are having. That's not what is the kids menu in most places. I'm against the grilled cheese, pasta, chicken fingers, kids menu, please. Let's understand what I am saying. That's my point. All right. We have a great bonus show for you today. The Mayo Clinic has fired 700 employees because they are not vaccinated. 700 employees. December job growth doubled the expected numbers. Doubled. That sounds like a great economy. Well, we're going to dig into the numbers and, and think about it a little more deeply. And a father and son plead guilty to Trump riot charges. It runs in the family, folks. Uh, And I'm sort of joking when I say that, but it, it really does. It really does. So we will talk about all of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Tomorrow's live stream of the Trump press conference is canceled because the press conference is canceled. We will have other live streams this week. And next Tuesday, January 11th, 6 p.m. Eastern, we'll be doing a very casual chess tournament players of all levels are welcome. This is a great community thing. Last time we did it, I think we had 500 or 600 players. It was great. Some grandmasters, international masters, women's fide masters are going to be participating in the tournament. I hope that you will participate. It'll be January 11th at 6 p.m. Eastern. Just make an account on chess.com and then I'll have information about how to sign up. It's free. I'm selling you nothing, folks. It's completely free to play. And I hope that you will. All right. We'll see you on the bonus show. Sign up, get a membership at joinpacman.com, which will give you instant access to the bonus show.